Test, test, is that it? Is that, it? Is that it? in more? I, I don't know. <laughs> I've never done this before. <laughs> All right, so um, just look right into the camera and uh, tell us who you are. Okay, yeah, can do. Hi, I'm Ollie J. Thomas, and I'm the university's first animated student. So yeah, I mean, it feels pretty special to be the first one of my kind on campus. Um, those kinds of people have been legendary in the past, but me, I just want to be myself. That's most important to me. The thing is, there are certainly some challenges. There's times when people are looking at you funny or where you can't complete a simple task like everyone else, or when people straight up reject you because of some preconceived notions they might have. It can be hard. I guess my story began back when I was created. Acclaimed animation director Doug Finster drew me up back in 1999. He also drew my parents, Mary and Ward. They were real big in 90s cartoons. And did that background have much of an effect on you? Well, there's a lot of pressure for animated characters to, like, you know, move to Hollywood, get a job in cartoons, that sort of thing. But me, I just didn't want to do it. I felt like that sort of lifestyle, you know, it wasn't for me. I wanted to take some chances. I remember sitting down with my dad and saying, Dad, I know this is going to hurt you. I just don't want to do this. I want to be a child psychologist. And I remember he smiled. He just sort of chuckled. And he said, I want you to be only what you want yourself to be. And he gave me a hug, and that was it. I'm now a second year student at the university, currently on track to get my degree in child psychology. When I, I tell people I study that, they usually go, Wow! How fitting! Kids love cartoon characters. And I'm just like, I guess so? I think a, a lot of people have preconceived notions about cartoon characters. They think we're all like natural-born comedians or something, or that we enjoy like bouncing around all the time. So I think they get a little disappointed when they see that I'm not that way. But I, I've grown to realize that the people who matter are the people who accept you for who you truly are. When I think back to that conversation I had with my dad, I realized that it was actually just about me staying true to myself. If you can dream it, you can do it. Good, cut.